Thursday, September 26, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $125. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin from friends of WeUseCoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. In a post-Snowden world, the release of Apple's new iPhone S with fingerprint scan has consumers concerned about Apple sharing their personal biometric data with governments. A group of independent hackers was able to crack the biometric system within four days of the new phone's release. If recent history is any indication of what's to come, then companies like Apple cannot be trusted to tell the truth to their customers. The heads of Microsoft, Google, Yahoo, and Facebook have already teamed up in a lawsuit against the federal government for threatening them with jail time if they didn't turn over private user data. Apple is suspiciously missing from that lawsuit. Do you want government agents treating your phone as their dog tag? Remember, they only have the power and authority that you grant them. In other news, law enforcers in Tennessee stormed a spa and arrested three Korean women in their 50s. They've been charged with suspected, quote, massage of an erogenous zone. The incident has people asking themselves, can peaceful exchanges between consenting adults really be called crimes? Law enforcers deployed a masked paramilitary SWAT team led by a guy with a ballistic shield to make a dramatic entry into the spa with guns drawn to try and find evidence of unauthorized happy endings. Are guns, shields, and body armor the standard tools of detective work? Violence doesn't solve complex social problems. It creates more victims. The three ladies, whose only alleged crimes are making their customers feel good could spend their golden years in a concrete cell. Police seized about $5,000 in cash from the business, which they're allowed to keep and used to expand their occupation. The law doesn't require a conviction for police to grab loot from suspects of a vice crime. The women must now protect themselves from further jail time in expensive legal battles without being able to use their own money. And if convicted, will their prosecution really do anything to end prostitution? According to a University of Michigan study, one million people in the U.S. have worked as prostitutes, and 70% of female inmates in American prisons were initially arrested for prostitution. Speaking of imprisoning victimless criminals, on Saturday, a New Jersey man working as a prison guard shot himself just outside of the federal prison which employed him for almost 20 years. The next day, a Another Jersey man shot himself outside his place of work, the Ewing Police Department. He enforced laws for a decade and a half. Is this a coincidence, or is a heavy conscience a predictable result of participating in evil? This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. About half a million people were killed, wounded, or went missing during just the Battle of Normandy. To mark International Peace Day this year, a pair of artists created a visually stunning temporary exhibit of 9,000 silhouettes on a D-Day landing speech, one for each man who died the first day of the month-long bloodbath. The project, named The Fallen, is a sobering reminder of what happens when peace is not present. The artists made the shape of a person by putting down a stencil and raking the surface to create a distinctive figure. The silhouettes were then carried away by the sea. The artists turned up to the beach with a team of 60 people, but by the end, over 500 volunteers were taking part. One of the artists said, quote, watching the tide come in and wash the bodies away was symbolic of all the lives lost in wars, not just the Normandy landings. In other news, the popular activist support network Shield Mutual has publicly dropped Adam Kokesh as a customer, citing, quote, failure to renew, failure to remedy damage, and grave breach of trust. Read the extensive blog post filled with first-hand screenshots and emails, and listen to the mp3 recordings yourself at shieldmutual.com and if you value freedom consider becoming a member yourself at shieldmutual.com peace news now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of weusecoins.com share this episode with your friends and if you enjoyed it send some bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com i'm derek j reminding you that peace is the way